Are you two dating? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I, oh, I would just okay. wanted to clarify. I, you guys, that's what I, I thought. feel like you guys should let him know. Maybe. Yeah, I feel like that's a key <laughs> point. Been, that would be, are you guys bisexual or lesbian or? Um, honestly, I uh, she's the first woman I've dated, and she's just my life partner. We're not really like sexually intimate like that. We just Wait, hold. have complementing characteristics. So your roommates? No, we friend. share a bed and we cuddle and we kiss, but we don't involve each. We don't do... We're Christian. Okay, but we don't have sex. I am oh, so okay. intrigued. I'm very intrigued. This is going to be the best podcast <laughs> Wait, ever. so a couple be clarifying Christian. questions. A couple clarifying questions here. So uh, have you ever dated men? Yes. Have you dated men? Yes. Um, so you guys consider yourselves bisexual then? In a sense. Bi-romantic. But currently I you're not sex. I'm not neither sexual. of you are sexual yes but you, you guys have said that you've been dating for three years three years Ex have you been exclusively monogamous, monogamous dating each other for three years correct yes. there's been no other women or no other men in that three year time period correct that's okay. what that means and you guys cohabitate you live together mm -hmm. yes okay have you guys ever in the had, same room in the same bed you guys never had have you guys We've ever had, had sex, sex? we have sex. and we honestly anytime I've ever had sex in my life it doesn't feel that great to me because that's one, I'm not married, and I'm a Christian, and that's not how I be rolling. Okay. Um, and then, so you guys are, are you guys going to get married? Hopefully. We would like to. But. In heresy church land, or? Yeah, I actually know lots of pastors. Sorry, they're not orthodox, so they don't follow your exact beliefs. So but if work? God came to us and actually gave me a convicting feeling i would and we knew that god does not want us to be together we've been blessed so much in our relationship we have we that's, came that's to period. God together honestly and yeah i mean as much as each of us had our you know knowledge of god prior we came closer to god and to christ since being together and you know if as much as we love each other if at the end of the day god didn't want us to be together and he brings us a husband and says this is your husband i'm obedient to my lord and savior jesus christ what that's... are your thoughts on the fact that the bible says that marriage is between an, a man well, and a woman well hang the... on we want to get through let's we'll see if we can get through these the questions oh we'll we're still doing introductions yes. oh yeah sorry yeah, 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 yeah. We, sorry but i do have a question we'll for follow sure back up yeah sorry. we'll we'll come back to that okay. so uh okay so uh what about you um i've been married for 14 years and i was a virgin on our wedding night married 14 years so you got married at 23 yes 23 okay i am single and my longest relationship was five years and i've been single for three years what your longest relationship was five years you've been single for three years but you're 23 so this 24. was like a oh 24 for some reason i put down 23 um so this was like kind of a high school relationship, the five-year one? Correct. Okay. And that was a five-year relationship? Yes. Okay. With, uh, what's your orientation? I'm straight. Straight, okay. All right, Andrew, what about you? <laughs> uh, yeah, I've been married for 12 years, I think. Okay. Uh, well then, where do we begin? Where <laughs> okay. do we begin? Well, can we, <laughs> I vote let's go back to this. <laughs> Let's go back to this previous conversation yep. we were discussing. Um, so how do you reconcile the fact or do you just decide to move off to your own interpretation that this is, I'm trying to figure out how to, how to frame this for the purpose of TOS, that Christianity is not approving of the type of lifestyle that you have. My Christian is also Christianity is also not approving of the type of things you talk about on this podcast. Um, people having this hookup culture. Mm -hmm. God, is this a two quo quo? Yeah. Do you yeah. want to just answer the question though? What was your question again? Yeah. So the the, the question is, how do you reconcile it? Even um, if assuming that everybody else is around you is sinning. That in and of itself, and not just. I actually don't sin, excuse right? that as sinning, but. Right, that's my point. Though, as we how don't do you, have how the. How do you reconcile that? Well, I do believe that we're not in a, a wrong relationship. 
This is the best relationship that I have ever been in. I've been a lot. I've been in seven relationships. A lot of them were really bad. Mm -hmm. um, most of them were with men. I actually didn't date any women until I dated her. She pulled me out of really dark times, and I'm the best version I am because of her. You and could I mean, say we're like nuns together then. I think it's really beautiful nuns who what kiss you're and saying. And make out and I, I, we do not I make personally out, believe and even marriage. Um, I believe Apostle Paul in Corinthians mm -hmm. did it says say that man. Mar ma it says that man and woman and man were must you gonna not let me finish ever my words? lay with she man or nor woman talking, with woman. So right? I think it's pretty rude that you. Yeah, he also he also says. No, we're, he hates us now because oh, we date each I don't, other. I don't, I don't hate you. I just, we're having a conversation. Um, but you, you interrupted, cause, which means automatically so means you don't respect me. me. So Which means she doesn't respect me. So anyway, back to this. I don't respect you. Good. Then it's, the feeling is mutual. Go ahead. Cool. <laughs> You're not a very godly man. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I'm not the one making out with someone in the same sex in a bed. We don't, make out. Okay. we don't make out. We don't make out. You just said you did. You said you make today. out and cuddle in the same bed. What are you I said we about? kiss. Kiss. And we actually different. haven't even made. We haven't <laughs> kissed once this. So you just fucking roommates. <laughs> If that's like what that's you want it. To call that's it. what it is. You're just I, roommates. There's so much more that goes into. Anyways, what I was saying about Corinthians. Thank you very much. Is actually marriage. Apostle Paul believes everybody should stay single and if you want to get married it's because you can't control yourself and your sexual desires and that is also what he means by submitting to each other because you are the human race is so disgusting and wild that we want to fuck everybody what so we we need to <laughs> what not not everybody so that, wants to do that that's that's true not but the hookup culture I'm generalizing like they do and um I feel like it makes sense. Wait, what? why is the human race disgusting? What were those your words? They definitely when Jews and Gentiles, the what? Gentiles were not. That's how the state we're in right now. The Hookup culture. Yeah, but how is this not perpetuating that same that same state of degeneracy? Anyways, marriage was only so is brought because men and women can't control themselves. So you need to pick one person. Yeah, the opposite sex is what Paul said. He said you must take a wife. You must take a wife. If you to cannot men, control yourself. To men, you must take a wife. He specifically forbade man to lay with man, a woman with to lay with woman. In Corinthians. This is why I don't believe in can I Can I ask you girls a question? Um, yes. If you, let's say you cut the kissing out. Kendall and I are like, we're besties, man. Like, we would love to do everything with each other all the time. Well, and what, we are, what's we are stopping you guys from just being best friends if you thought that the Bible told you what Andrew is exactly saying that that is to be man and woman why couldn't you two just say well let's just stop kissing and then we're best friends and we are the best relationship ever but now our relationship is biblical what's to stop that that's kind of where we've been heading to okay and in that case I would not be pursuing anybody else for the rest of my life me as well and I mean and I would not want I wouldn't you guys necessarily don't want, want to be pursued unless I literally want. knew God said, this is your husband. Why not mm. just become a nun? Yeah, would you yeah. consider yourself asexual? I yeah. prefer not to have sex, so maybe, yeah. Yeah, why not just be okay, a nun? That makes sense. I can be. Is there something in your past that But I'm not you, Catholic. Is there something in your past that I mean, causes you, you to dislike <laughs> sex? <laughs> I know that's personal. I'm sorry, but... No, that's okay. Uh, yes, I have been sexual assaulted on multiple accounts but it didn't stop me from wanting a man when I was younger as I just got older like graduating from high school I just realized I didn't want those sexual connections mm -hmm. and to me since I have been sexually assaulted and that is how I lost my hymen so I know I can't get it back because somebody took it from me so in that case your funny joke remember and it was a funny joke. It wasn't. It was. It wasn't. It was really a funny joke. Because you're a man and, and you like to make jokes at the expense of other people's emotions. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. What makes a joke funny? Something that makes you laugh. You're not funny and to me. And it made me laugh. So it was funny. To you. Yeah. Well, it made a lot of people laugh. Huh? Thousands upon thousands of people. And it made thousands upon thousands of people angry. Luckily, we have you here to tone police us. See, Thank you so I much. I believe you're on this podcast <laughs> just to insult women and not actually to learn anything about women. You talk about how women mm -hmm. don't want an average mediocre man or that men have Who such does? a hard time getting laid. And maybe that's because that's your focus is on getting me. laid. What? Yeah, Instead I don't talk of dating. About it. I literally don't talk about any of that. I don't know what him, you're talking about. He does. 
Oh yeah, how do you know? Because I watched the podcast. Well, you're, just to do a second some ago, you were you were attributing that to me. So clearly, you don't watch the podcast. I do watch the podcast. Then why would you attribute that I stuff to me? She's referring to a comment you made in one of the episodes. Which is, is? I yeah, it's probably like three episodes. What's the ago, comment? I think. Was it three episodes ago? Maybe the Hyman one. I think so. Right. Yeah. I, I saw it on TikTok. I yeah, that was that was super funny. To you. I don't yeah, even okay. remember the but, Hyman thing. I well, so we were it. talking about born again virgin. Yeah. Right? Oh, right. And this particular woman happened. Which to is be, a real thing. Jesus comes as a way to be, say when you get baptized. Born, yeah, there's Jesus no, wants you to be no a lesbian. Thing as a born again so anyway, <laughs> um, yes, the the Hyman comment. There's no born again virgin, and she was an OnlyFans. Uh, prostitute. I, I watched the thing and you yeah, said, Oh, yeah, can that, you get your hymen back? Yeah, that's a lot different than. Do you know one in three SA. women have been sexually assaulted? D- does that mean that okay. one in three women have been sexually assaulted and that's what removed their hymen? <laughs> a <laughs> lot of women have lost their hymen that way. Uh, no, I don't think they have. Actually, yes, they have. No, Joke. they actually haven't. Oh, You're in, lying through your teeth. I'm not lying through yeah, my teeth. Yeah, you are. What are the stats then? For one women in three who have women lost have been sexually their hymen assaulted. From SA. Go ahead, tell me. She's a Wait, feminist. hang on, hold up. I'm not a feminist. Yeah, what, well, what's you, a hymen? You are a feminist because that's you haven't statistics. Asked that no, I'm really not a feminist. Yes. So I'm a feminist. I'm not particularly inclined to What's a hymen? Hold on. His joke. I'm not a feminist. His joke. I don't think women should do whatever they want with their bodies. I don't think. Let me finish my statement. Cool. Hey, stop. One person at a time. But I don't think he should control everything. Stop. His joke had it was had nothing to do with SA. Nothing. Yes, but it was insensitive to people who have been through SA. But you don't understand because you're a man and you've literally never experienced the things that women experience. This is a fallacy. Men can't this be is SA'd. actually a fallacy. <laughs> men can't be SA'd? It's a fallacy that you're a man and you don't know what women have experienced. No, it's a fallacy to say that I'm not allowed to have an opinion because of my sex. That's fallacious. It is fallacious argumentation. I, w- I, I can't have a position on something because you know what I do have? I you have can have an opinion, but it doesn't mean it's facts. It seems you put all your opinion as Just a factual like statement. That, like, like I said, you're not here to learn from anybody. Hymen through but SA, you want that's us to not learn a fact. from you. I'm, I'm going to be a little bit controversial here because I should be on like Team Woman, but I think it's not fair to be offended by a joke about Hymen when it wasn't your Hymen. And it was a joke about. He also proceeded pro- to say women are funny <laughs> and can never be funny, and that's why right. women and, and didn't we laugh know at that this joke. is true because you're here tone policing and being a wine ass about jokes. I laugh all the time, and I find people about funny. About what? What do you I laugh about? Have men tell me I'm funny all the time. <laughs> I don't. I, it, cool. The joke was about a prostitute, you seem, you not know, you, a sexual assault <laughs> victim. And I, I hope I'm not hearing you like say that she wasn't sexually assaulted, right? This no. conversation okay. is all over the fucking place. No. His joke had nothing to nothing do with Nothing to do SA. with that. Agreed. So, well, so like, you, you, the, your logic... That's not the point. Hold on, hold on, stop interrupting. Let me, let me explain. Let, let me say okay, one thing, let me say one thing. Your logic here is a bit failing because you're, you're reaching, you're, you're reaching for... He made a joke <coughs> about... Sure. Let's say he made a joke about sex. And you, you're somehow coming to the conclusion, if you make a joke about sex or bodily uh, anatomy, that... That's somehow always going to be related to S- women who get essayed. No, your logic. It, no, it, no, no. It's the one, fact that it doesn't that, lead to one or the other. No, no. It's the fact that you're talking about born again Christians, yeah. and some women did not lose their virginity by having sex for pleasure. Mm-hmm. And in oh. that case, no, they cannot get their hymen so back. Then, so that so joke wasn't in, that actually, funny. Actually, actually, that makes it funnier. Here's how. So in SJW. both cases, in both cases, the joke works. If you're saying God made me a born again virgin, okay. Me asking, did God give you back your hymen? How in the world would that be offensive to SA victims or prostitutes? Why would you say that to an SA victim? He didn't. I didn't. I know. She's I know. reaching. He asked a She's yeah, fucking why? reaching. Okay. So my, my, que- <laughs> my question is, why would that actually be offensive to one though? If you did say it to an SA victim, it actually would be offensive. Why? If you didn't, so it's not. The yeah, but why? But but you're not hearing me. Because an SA Asking victim Asking if God to gave have... it back to you, how could that be offensive? Because they didn't choose to have it taken away. From I them. get it, but what does that have to do with God giving it's it back to you? I don't even feel like. I don't even understand why you're not getting it. These men also don't believe women. Let me be clear. He's a red flag. Joke directly to her, so that's not the situation. But if well, you I didn't did say, say it, it wasn't to even about SA at all. I, know. It, I don't even feel like it's worth engaging on their level because your joke wasn't even about SA. No, yeah. She's reaching, it but it's still. But even but and she's trying to deflect from the conversation yeah. about how does she reconcile your relation? If if you consider yourself Christians, if you guys consider yourselves Christians, it's a fair question to ask. Yeah, how, how do, do you, you reconcile, reconcile that? that with your faith? That's a fair question. I mean, if you want to like, if you want to deflect by like bringing up you, li- 
this is a really bad faith thing where you just try to like deflect a hundred different things. She His joke. That already, I um, answered the question. No, 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 she didn't. Because she immediately went, well, what about Christians who do X, Y, Z? That's not actually addressing his point. I'm not saying that I can have a relationship with a woman because other people are sinners. Okay, great. So then how do you reconcile the fact that you're in a same-sex relationship and consider it a you relationship? You said we're just best friends. Yeah, no, I we're asked just you roommates. that and you said no. You said we're just roommates. And yeah, I said, yeah, we can't be that. I said, well, that's what For it you. sounds like, but you said no. Yes. Yeah, so then that I answered to no. God, not to you. According it's to her, it's not, she doesn't view it as roommates, but for your definition of what roommates would be, you can apply it to them. Yeah. All right, I have a question then. You guys are, well, you, it's, I'm a little confused because you guys said you were maybe waiting for sex until marriage. No, no we, didn't we didn't say that. You. Okay, maybe I, just, yeah, maybe I misheard. Maybe I misheard then. Definitely do. Um, but you're not have you you guys have had sex though which is a this lady said for you to fix that one little hanging piece of hair <laughs> that you have <laughs> I'm so anyway yeah back to this I, I just asked you a question what did you ask uh, did you guys come on to troll no absolutely no. not Yeah, you're being like you're being a bit too belligerent for the otherwise good faith question that I'm what, asking What's you. your good faith question? The good faith question. I literally still, just... Still trying to figure out how you make this reconciliation. Well, let, let me... Let, okay, no, so... No, he, he said he, he asked said something. something. That else. was what you asked. Sex until marriage. Nick, just, it was something about yeah, show sex it and then sex hide it. Don't leave that shit And we up, said man. no. I literally answered your question about the sex till marriage. But you guys, you, if I recall correctly, you guys did have sex... And we, did, and we don't feel right about it. And, and we don't have and sex. And you don't do it anymore. Thank you, yes. But are you guys desirous of getting married? Honestly, I'm not, I don't even know, but I just want to be, we okay, are life are partners, business partners. Yes, you're partners. romantically involved. Yeah, are I do. Are you desirous of potentially one day getting married? I would want to get married, but I mean, at the end of the day, it depends on what God wants from us and I'm not going to okay. do anything and that so do you want, And so. so you guys, do you want kids? To we foster. foster. Foster kids. Okay. Yeah. But so you're not desirous of having sex with each other no. or potentially sex with other partners no. moving down the I world. feel like no, you waste a lot of time if you focus your energy and mind on sex. You can do a lot more with yourself if you just open yourself and up. And when you find people that someone that has a complimenting or like you know in op opposite traits of you so that you can come together and create beautiful things, beautiful work, beautiful business, beautiful life. So and I'm if I hold on if I recall correctly, if this is my understanding, one of the reasons you guys don't want to have sex is for religious reasons. Is that correct? And I just don't really like sex. Kind of okay. grosses me out. All the stuff. Is it the same for you, or is there yes. re is there a religious component to well, not wanting to have sex? I mean, the religious component is kind of in the back of our mind. It's a yes, but at the same time, we don't feel right it's a very icky thing to do and you know we feel convicted so yes at the end of the day it is a religious thing but and i feel the same way having sex with men if that makes sense okay but I mean, we are not here to troll yeah i had i didn't like having sex with men either so do you ever think that it was maybe the person that you were having sex with was just a bad like it was a bad no. situation no in some cases, Sex is for me, gross yes, and aggressive and painful. I also had some good men. Here, hang on. I hear you out because you're saying it's gross and aggressive and painful. Those are all words. I don't like the bodily saliva thing, and I'm also. I feel like you're supposed to have sex when you want to procreate. We just have sex to have sex, and that's kind of why I said if you can't control yourself, yeah, take your so husband, you, take know, your you wife. You have, so you wait, have you been in a situation with SA, and so I feel like for you you're viewing sex from that viewpoint from i was attacked i was abused sex isn't only for procreation do you think that husbands and wives should only have sex for as many times as they want to have babies then why do you not believe I think, in prenatal yeah, they sex should. that's not what i said if sex is not only for marriage nick can you close the i mean sorry if sex is not only for babies yeah, we're talking about it through a religious sex. prism though because god so we're talking about this specific between a man and a woman. Yeah, but but we're no, a husband this. and a wife. No, I'm sorry, a husband and a wife. Why can't you have premarital sex in general? Yeah, I, I get it. I get what you're saying, but you have a worldview conflict. So we're trying to speak within within a, a worldview <coughs> that she claims she has. I claim that I have that you do not have. Mm -hmm. So within this worldview, she but just ours are slightly different because you're orthodox. She just said, and she, I'm just a yes, but you, the adaptation Christ. of the worldview versus secularist would be much harder for them to understand it than for you to understand it. So. Within the confines of this, you say, 
sex is for procreation, right? Yes, I agree. But you would not agree that. But in Genesis, that, but, but that's on, what it was let me, for. Let me finish the question. Let me finish the question. But you would agree that inside of a marriage, having sex external to only having children is not a bad thing, right? If the man and woman desire it, then yes. But I do believe there's several people, even who haven't been um, sexually assaulted, that don't have a desire to put do that. They just don't. Yeah, I think there's something a, underlying for but that. That's, I mean, but come on, that's not very common. Most of the time, married couples and couples what about in general nuns? have sex. Did they all get sexually assaulted? Again, that's a totally exception. Oh, what? Exception. Is other way you, you can't. You can't go assault. from like Holy a, a few women don't like sex. Because so she just is bringing up her. sexual assault. The, yeah, but wait, I wasn't. The, you're, are you? Are you? Have I, you done something? She's not like, just answering. Yes. What? 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 I'm just saying. Why are you so offended by that? Like be honestly. Because because of the graphic nature of well, it, you have to be very careful about how it's phrased on the channel. I said sexual, so I didn't ever say that. <sighs> yeah, you but told just me the use words essay. I couldn't use say. Use essay. Okay, instead. essay. Okay. But he's still going to say, the, what the what, what, fuck what is the, your problem with what that? What was the false accusation you were about to make? I wasn't going to false accusate you. What were you about to say? I was about to say, why are you getting so defensive about sexual assault? What were you about to say? No, that's not what you were about to say. It's not. Can we no, it wasn't. <laughs> I know. So what, I know. What were you this about is why to say? the podcast takes six hours. Yeah, I know. No, because you're about to throw out a very fucking serious accusation. Um, no, it wasn't yes. an accusation. It was going to be a question. No, you were about to ask, have you ever done X? Right. That's what you were about to say. Have you ever made a girl feel uncomfortable is what I was about to say. And is that why you are so offended? I'm just wondering why you're so offended. Have you ever made a man uncomfortable? Yeah, totally. Do you do it a lot? Mm, maybe. So you're the perpetrator? Um, it's not on purpose. Oh, it just, it just I happens. think men feel uncomfortable when women <laughs> question happens. them. It's just by accident? Sure. No, oh, okay. I don't just sit there and go, oh my gosh, sounds like a man. Sounds like you're the perpetrator here. Sure. Okay. You oh, mind? wow. I'm sure he wanted me to argue with that. <laughs> don't need you to argue with that. I'm happy did, with that answer. How did we all get speechless? I know. <laughs> how did we all get speechless on this topic? <laughs> I want to I wanna go back to the I mean, if you bite that, that bullet, there's no for me You to are go. like the king of talking over everybody. That's good because most of you have nothing good to say. See? Listen, I... Because we're I, women. Because we're women. No, no, <laughs> they listen, literally do not, not women. respect women. Because you're dumb. <laughs> It's, 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 I'm not dumb. Wait, that what? wasn't cool. That's 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 I'm not dumb. dumb. So you're like an actual dick. You're going to yeah. get canceled real you're quick. You're a bigot, not and cool. that's all. If every single I'm gonna female get canceled? Table gets yeah. up and By who? The Rainbow podcast. Pride Parade? What are they going to do? There are different I levels of that. being smart. You can be... Okay, your behavior is actually... You're, Brian, acting dumb and uneducated. You're so educated, but you act like a little Brian. Oh, really? The cancel culture queen over here? I'm the one who's the problem? I mean, I'm not. I don't cancel anybody. Listen, you're you got apparently offended over like a, a, a God-fearing man. No, I, I pointed out the joke as... His character. I know. He has bad character. I know. It's okay He's for such you a to godly be combative man, and, and a brat, but if I say a word like about that. it, I'm the evil villain. You're not an evil villain. Yeah, good. Then stop whining and let's have the conversation. We're having a conversation. Who's no, whining? All you've been doing is whining. I've been keeping crying. the same tone the whole time. Well, wait, you're literally pause. just a sexist man. Why do you man. think she's whining? What state she's she's literally what part been, of it makes because sense? Because she's whining about a joke he made Often what happens is when women are made to feel uncomfortable, they have two options. The first option is they could argue, but they suck at that. So they usually go to option two, which is to whine and complain and be brats and talk about fucking nonsense. What How long have you been married you? for? Oh my, that's like, what I'm that's saying. Wild to me. <laughs> Thank you. Dude, his he is not a real man. Did you just? <laughs> he's not. He's not he is not, I and agree. he is not. He wants a woman to do whatever they want. <laughs> not like, a real man. You're not. Yeah. You're Where did you find this guy? You, you're a, what are you you're you're a biological about? man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but Hold your on. brain stop. is Shut little up. boy. Hold on. Stop. 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 Everybody, cease with the ad homs. Everybody, stop with ad homs. We're gonna try to get through this podcast without it having to devolve into like personal attacks every five minutes. Go ahead. Okay, speaking of personal attacks, I would like him to go around the table and tell us exactly who he thinks is dumb on this podcast because I've barely I've, spoken. I've literally just tried to move things along. Just drop it. I told everybody I to like stop. The wow. If we question Bro, them, we're wrong. Stop, they can question stop. us. We have to answer all their questions. If we ask them, we get, it's your private life. $200. Andrew Wilson, get I just didn't realize you guys were actually this bad. <laughs> anyway, my it's insane. sprinkler goes like this. I'm trying to. Thank you. I agree with the comments. Jesus would not agree, and I'm very upset, and I'm sure he is too. Comes back, liked it. Tell it to your priest who marries your your preacher, whoever it is. Okay, 
No, my priest just understands that he doesn't have enough knowledge of the Hebrew language to, you need to act like you. You need to stop. <laughs> the Hebrew language? You guys need to stop. We're going to stop devolving into ad homs. We're going to stop having meta conversations. I tried to move things on. Why are you bringing it back to a meta conversation and trying to like let me move the conversation on so we can have a show? By the way, Wait, don't so ask I, him. Don't ask him to I didn't, go around to every table you, and state why everybody's guys, dumb. So I just called the person I was let us, with. No, no. You, you, I told no, no, everybody. No, 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 that's what I wanted to hear. Is that you? Because you generally said you all are dumb. I wanted to hear that that was you know. Yeah. We're gonna stop having meta conversations. We're gonna get into the actual content of the show. This is the content. No, it's not. Okay. It looked like you don't want all the drama. Not really. <laughs> not really. Okay, oh. did you have a different question that you wanted no, to ask? Or was no, no, nothing at all. Okay. This all started because you made... Yo, 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 yo. Did you, did you not just hear what I said? I just wanted Cease to... Cease with the meta conversation. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Do you know what a meta conversation is? No. Andrew, it's a conversation about the conversation. We're okay, going to cease having meta conversations. Let's <laughs> actually get into the content. Okay. Okay. God damn. Holy shit. That was just an intro. <laughs> Man of God. Mm -hmm. He's not. He, not okay. Him. I've heard him say he's, it. That's verbatim. which means he's not an. He doesn't identify as a Christian. I. So okay. don't Look, say you're a man of God. Then. It doesn't matter. He doesn't. He has. He, he calls himself a man of God with her, with her parents or whatever. Wait, so you, hold on. Now, you, now you're saying that, well, hold Whoever on. The I'm, question, I'm questioning the you. I'm questioning you because you took the Lord's name in vain. Oh, Guys, please don't fucking uh, high horse on this. Like, come on. You guys are not. We're not abiding. high horse. You, you high not, horse as well. If you want, you guys are not. You guys yourselves we're are just not, not on abiding. The same level of Yo, men, so we can't act talking, like he has. Stop interrupting. I'll submit to you. Yo, you've got a fucking really nasty attitude. For this show to work, you can't be interrupting. You can't be having meta conversations. You can't be like throwing out these little quips and jabs. Do you understand? What are you doing? So we're allowed to be interrupted, but at, by well, him. As the host, so first not off, not by he wasn't. He's not the host, correct? Is that correct? Okay, you interrupted you're in, me. I interrupted you're, you. you're in, interrupting no, you me have, now. No, you interrupted me first. I'll try I just to, to make it clear. He, you're the host. We yield to you. Yeah. Okay. I will try to limit interruption from everybody. But I was in the middle of talking, and you were interrupting me. This time, yes. So, I'm done now. Bro, you got a bad fucking attitude. Holy fuck. You immediately started. You no. Yeah, you right. also have a bad attitude. Let's no, keep going. I don't. You've been. I've been trying to get this back. So normal. Back straight, but you. You got a bad attitude. What's hmm. the next question? Can I talk about my twelve-year marriage? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not juicy enough. 